okay? He did not discuss it with his parents, and that made me a little uncomfortable, but again, it has to be up to you. You have to know the consequences of your choices and actions. And so I told him, I'm like, is this going to create huge havoc if they find out? Um, and he said, I'll deal with that if it comes to it. I can't take ownership of that. I'm presenting with an opportunity to you. You have to decide what topic. And I've had some really intense topics. Okay, I think I told you about the girl. Yeah, the girl who was pregnant. Oh, yeah. I mean, that was an intense... <laughs> <clears throat> that was an intense topic, but it was something that she needed to figure out. Um, I'm still in touch with her, and she has this precious two-year-old baby boy um, who's awesome. Okay, But at the time, it was complete crisis. And she said, you know what? I need to figure this out. <coughs> um, Nitty-gritty details. We're going to talk about some of your ideas and options on Monday, just have questions and things like that. Tuesday, I want you to pretty much firm up your topic. Can you change it? Of course. But the longer it takes you to get going, the further your research will, you won't have as much research. You might be standing in the grocery store <coughs> talking to someone. Here, you don't hang out in the grocery store. You may be standing, who knows where you'll be. You might be at work, and something may come up. Something may come up, and someone might say, "Oh yeah," um, and they mention something that has to do with your topic. And all of a sudden, you're interviewing someone off the cuff in line at Target. <coughs> I have a tickle in my throat because I yelled "white" so hard. Um, so your topics come in. Your final paper comes in Tuesday the 13th. This one, I won't be accepting anything late. Um, yeah, except if you come down with malaria, you'll get in touch with me. Presentations will start December 15th. And presentations are five to seven minutes in length. I had one boy one time go on for a whole class period. So I've cut them back. He did one on invisible children, those child <laughs> soldiers. And uh, we ended up taking his eye search, and we did a band day at Millbrook where we had a competition with, between all these bands, and the money went to Invisible Children. So his eye search got like the whole senior class involved. It was really amazing, um, but he was really incredibly passionate about it. And I would say that that's a word that I want you to walk around with a little bit. What is it that you're passionate about? What do you want to know? Now, if this. If you're sitting here going, you know what, all I want to know is how I can get out of here as quick as possible and I hate school and I hate Miss Young and I hate English, whatever. If you are feeling that, pick a, pick a generic research topic. This paper lends itself to anything. If you want to find the origins of dinosaurs, you can. Okay? Um, so there's lots of things. Um, last year, Jen Marichek did... Um, she found out about, hers was more scientifically inclined because it was about what makes, like, what people have in them to be excellent runners. It was something about, she runs for recreational purposes, but it was about the science of running. Um, I had another one I wanted to tell you about. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can't think of it, but anyway. Um, I've watched a ton of different topics, so of course, but no one can pick your topic for you. I mean, I could, but <laughs> you want it to be something that's interesting to you. Now, one of the keys to this, of course, are your sources, and you never know where a source is going to pop up. Um, we can do this, you, yes, you can email someone. If you're doing something on colleges, you darn well better make sure that you're interviewing people at all those different schools pros and cons, you've got people, I will email the faculty and say, hey, this is a list of topics that we're looking at. Um, there might be, I've had boys, um, I think her name was Thelma, I'm, I'm not even sure what it was, but they bought this car and they prepared it for racing. That's what they were really interested in and they rebuilt the engine and did all this stuff <clears throat> and it was amazing. They still work on it, but there was someone on staff that worked on cars all the time. So we have to find, if you're invested in it, you're going to work to find some people. Now, if, say you want to be a pediatrician. 
We're going to have our topics and the other classes displayed because I need to know if Rachel's mom is a pediatrician or if Rachel's neighbor is a pediatrician because just going through the yellow pages and calling a bunch of pediatricians is difficult. The other thing I want to mention, and I'll stop here, I want you to think about this as real life skills because one of the things is you can't write an email to someone with text speak. Okay, you can't do it. <clears throat> You're going to have to go ahead and say, hey, um, my name's Emma Long. I'm a senior at Cary High School. I've been an, ac an athletic trainer for a long time. I'm really interested in being a physical therapist. And I'd love to know if I could interview you or ask you some questions either via email or phone. And maybe I could even job shadow with you one day. I'm just really curious if I have the disposition to become a physical therapist. Now, notice I didn't say, like, um, can you help me? I mean, you have to be a little bit more professional and step it up because you're reflecting on a couple things. You're reflecting on carry high. You're reflecting on yourself, most importantly. And then, of course, you're reflecting on me as your English instructor. I'll look over any email you want to send. I've taught Camden and Hannah and it doesn't always go well, but for the most part, if they meet someone who's an adult, they know to walk right up to them, stick out their hand, come on in, because I'll never stop if you don't come They know to walk up and shake hands firmly. When you walk across that stage for graduation, you need to look Mr. Tillman in the eye and give, and give a good firm handshake. None of this dead fish stuff, okay? It's not... And that's why I think this project has been very successful because not only is it something that you're invested in, so you're going to work at it a little bit more, something that you should care about. Number two, those are real life skills. You have to know how to approach people and get answers for what you want. If you don't learn to speak up for yourself and advocate for yourselves now, no one's going to be there to do it for you. I can hook you up with all kinds of people. For example, say you wanted to study the intricacies of being a biological identical twin. I know two people on staff who have identical twins and they work in the guidance department. They're actually in our room right now. These guys both have identical twins. Isn't that creepy? I think it's really cool. Her first name is Mia. Her sister's name is Tia. Oh, my, oh my, my first name is Cindy and my, my sister's name is me. Mindy. Mindy. <laughs> Small world. Isn't that weird? Um, so, I'll take questions afterwards. I'm going to let these guys do their thing. Um, but you're ultimately going to be responsible for a paper. That's one of your major evaluation grades. And then a presentation. Um, oh, I know what I wanted to tell you about. One of my boys, his lifelong dream, and he's known it forever, and he's in teaching fellows now at State. He wanted to be, he really wants to be a football coach. And he's actually teaching so he can become a football coach. That's really the primary, what he wants to do. Um, and his whole eye search was on what was the best offense to run as a football coach. Well, God bless him. I had to end up cutting him off at seven minutes. He had X's and O's and posters all around my room. He was so involved in his speech, and we kept trying to tell him time's running out. He only got through like three sections. And remember what the four sections are. My question and why I want to know it. What I already know. My search and what I found out. What now? What now, ladies? <laughs>